There are many different types of creatures that live in streams, lakes, seas, and oceans. And while many of these creatures are harmless, there are many that are incredibly dangerous if you happen to have an encounter with them. These dangerous animals lurk beneath the surface of the water in a world vastly different than ours and must be deadly to survive. Join us as we take a look at 10 of the most dangerous water creatures. Australian Box Jellyfish This creature is not one to be messed around with if you happen to swim into a swarm of them. And while they may seem harmless, the Australian box jellyfish is considered to be the most venomous marine animal in the world. They have tentacles that are covered with tiny darts called nematocysts, and they are loaded with poison. People and animals unfortunate enough to be injected with this poison may experience paralysis, cardiac arrest, and even death, all within a few minutes of being stung. On top of this, their sting is said to be very painful. It is the largest of the box jellyfish with body sizes reaching up to 1 foot in diameter and thick boot lace like tentacles up to 10 feet long. Another interesting ability of this jellyfish, apart from others that simply float where the current takes them, is that it can swim up to 4 knots, which is about 2 miles per hour. So beware if you happen to be in the water near the Indo Pacific region and northern Australia. Flower Urchin Beautiful but deadly, these sea urchins are extremely venomous. They look like a bouquet of small flowers, to which they get their name from. They feed on invertebrates, sponges, and dead fish, and have well-developed jaws for grinding up their prey. This moderately large urchin has only short and inconspicuous spines, but it is covered with large flower-like stalk tentacles tipped with jaws, each with a red throat, and it is these that are dangerous. These tiny tip tentacles can inject an extremely toxic venom through soft skin and can even sometimes pierce wetsuits. There have been deaths reported from the stings of this creature, so if you ever encounter them, admire their beauty, but don't touch. The Saltwater Crocodile Evolving around 200 million years in the Mesozoic epoch, crocodiles have far outlived the dinosaurs. The saltwater crocodile is the world's largest reptile, and they have been known to grow up to 27 feet long and weigh 2,465 pounds. Crocodiles are very fast over short distances even out of the water. They have extremely powerful jaws and sharp teeth for tearing apart the flesh of their prey. The crocodile's bite strength is a bone-crushing 3,000 pounds per square inch. Compare that to 350 pounds per square inch, and you get an idea of the power in this creature's jaws. Crocodiles are ambush hunters waiting for fish or land animals to come close, then rushing out to attack. Saltwater crocodiles have been known to hunt up and down beaches in the Amazon looking for prey, and have recently caught humans unaware. They have extremely powerful jaws and sharp teeth for tearing flesh. Textile Cone Snail Mother Nature teaches us that anything in nature that is beautiful is most likely deadly, and a warning to predators and humans to not touch or disturb them. This holds true for the Textile Cone Snail. Like all species within the genus Conus, these snails are predatory and venomous. It is a carnivorous snail which eats other snails and fish and uses a radula, which is a biological microscopic needle that injects conotoxin into its prey. They are capable of stinging humans, therefore live ones should be handled carefully or not at all, as the conotoxin of this species is extremely dangerous to humans. In fact, a few microliters of this conotoxin, which is what this snail injects in one sting, is enough to kill 10 people. It is not wise to provoke this snail, as it can become aggressive, and their poison-loaded harpoons can easily penetrate a wetsuit. The Sea Snake These highly venomous marine snakes are closely related and belong to the same family as the cobra. There are two independently evolved groups, the true sea snakes which are related to Australian terrestrial elapids, and the sea crates which are related to Asian cobras. Unlike fish, they do not have gills and must surface regularly to breathe. Among this group are species with some of the most potent venom of all snakes. They can bite when provoked and can kill a human being depending on its size. Luckily, there have not been many human fatalities, but that can change. 
Some of the main reasons for this is because they do not have an aggressive disposition, their fangs are small, and they don't inject a large amount of venom when they bite. It is still recommended to not take chances with the sea snake and to leave them alone if you encounter one. The Lionfish Lionfish are skilled hunters using specialized bilateral swim bladder muscles to provide exquisite control of location in the water column, allowing the fish to alter its center of gravity to better attack prey. The lionfish then spreads its large pectoral fins and swallows its prey in a single motion. They blow jets of water while approaching prey, apparently to disorient them. The potency of their venom makes them excellent predators and hazardous to fishermen and divers, and can cause systematic effects such as extreme pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, breathing difficulties, convulsions, and dizziness. It is common to see them in saltwater aquariums as they are one of the most beautiful and interesting saltwater fish. The Stingray Stingrays are a group of rays which are cartilaginous fish related to sharks and are one of the ocean's deadliest creatures. Most stingrays have one or more barbed stingers on their tails which are used exclusively for self-defense. The stinger can reach a length of 14 inches long and its underside has two grooves with venom glands. The stinger is covered with a thin layer of skin, which is like a sheath in which the stingray's venom is concentrated. Some stingray's mouths contain two powerful shell-crushing plates, and they feed primarily on mollusks, crabs, and other crustaceans. They are only dangerous if disturbed, and they can use their tails with incredible precision to strike down any predator daring enough to attack it. Fatal stings are very rare, but can happen. Most famously, in the death of Steve Irwin in 2006, a stingray felt threatened as Steve was diving while very close to one, and defended itself, in which the stinger went through his heart, causing massive trauma. Blue Ringed Octopus This octopus has some of the most striking colors of any ocean creature. They get their name from the brightly blue-colored rings on its body. If they are provoked, they quickly change color, becoming bright yellow with each of the 50 to 60 rings, flashing bright iridescent blue within a third of a second as an aposematic warning display. The blue ringed octopus, despite its small size, carries enough venom to kill 26 adult humans within minutes. Their bites are tiny and often painless, with many victims not realizing they have been envenomed until respiratory depression and paralysis start to set in and then death quickly after. Envenomation can result in victims being fully aware of their surroundings but unable to breathe. Because of the paralysis that occurs, they have no way of signaling for help or any way of indicating distress. No blue ringed octopus anti-venom is available yet, making it one of the deadliest reef inhabitants in the ocean. Needlefish these strange-looking creatures are very slender and have a single dorsal fin placed far back on the body. Needlefish are capable of making short jumps out of the water at up to 37 miles per hour. Since needlefish swim near the surface, they often leap over the decks of shallow boats rather than going around. This jumping activity is greatly excited by artificial light at night. Some night fishermen and divers in areas across the Pacific Ocean have been attacked by schools of suddenly excited needlefish diving across the water towards the light source at high speed. Their sharp beaks are capable of inflicting deep puncture wounds, often breaking off inside the victim in the process. For many traditional Pacific Islander communities who primarily fish on reefs from low boats, needlefish represent an even greater risk of injury than sharks. The Moray Eel most attacks stem from disruption of a moray's burrow to which they react strongly. But an increasing number of accidents also occur during hand feeding of moray's by divers, an activity often used by dive companies to attract tourists. Moray's have poor vision and rely mostly on their acute sense of smell, making it hard for them to distinguish between fingers and held food. In fact, numerous divers have lost fingers while attempting to hand feed a moray eel. Morays secrete a protective mucus over their smooth, scaleless skin, which in some species contains a toxin. <laughs>